Fresh Shot Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the shape blur filter with an image on a layer. The best way to use it on a layer is to use it as a smart object. So the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else, just make certain I've got it as a the layer. Select that, go to layer, and then smart objects, convert to smart object. So once that's done, I'm just going to go over here to filter, and you can find the shape blur here. Just select that. And what it uses are these presets. These presets, ones here anyway, are from graphic extras. You can, of course, got the usual selection of, I'm just going to quick show those ones there you can use. They're the ones that come with Photoshop. So there's a whole range of different designs, but I'm just going to use with ones, the line designs from graphic extras. And you can select, now you can push it up to quite high and you can see the lines there as it sort of blurs it along those lines. Push it too high, it really obliterates the image and it takes a long time to process. So for this purposes of the video, I'm just going to keep it fairly low so they can change fairly rapidly. Otherwise, you just can't see that they actually make any difference. So there's the another one that's selected. So once you're happy with that, click OK. Now, with all things with these things, if so, I've got a background. I haven't got background, so I'm just going to quickly add a background there. So just a quick one there. Now, what you can do, of course, you can blend, darken, Etc. Difference. So you can create some interesting blurred effects with that using blending modes. But you can also, and I'm just going to, again, because I've got the black background, so go to the actual layer there. You've got smart filter, and what you see, you've got this. You can actually add a filter mask. So just select there, and once you do that, you can just see there, filter mask has been selected. What you can do is just going to select pixels. Makes sense, pixels, and it got black, and you can just add just there. So instead of the blur being applied, of course, you can then go to white, and so you can actually add there. So you can create a nice ring design. So the filter, obviously, if you've got five, six effects, it's only for the entire layer itself. So you can just see through it and see the original. And of course, you don't actually have to do that. You can apply effects to that. So you can actually go to shape blur, Apply the shape blur to that layer as well. So you can see the effect just added there. So the actual smart filters mask. Or use maybe something to distort it. So uh, something like wave. So it's probably a better one. You can actually just create some very unusual masks and you can see then the effect just being applied through there. And of course, just go back to there and use that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.